All right, welcome to 90.90 90. The Quadratic here for your Algebra 2 quiz review video for uh, Section 2.1 to 2.4. Your quiz is on Wednesday, as it says here. Today and every day, we are brought to you by uh, called the Coffee and Tazo Zen Tea. Um, state the domain and range for each function and determine whether or not that relation is a function. First off, folks, um, the domain is all of the unique, unique x values. So we got negative 5, 5, and negative 3. So I'm going to make a little set right there. Uh, I'm going to put these in order, at least the greatest. And notice how, I'm, so I'm going to say negative 5, negative 3, and 5. All right, the range is all the unique y values. So we got 4, 1, 2, and 8. So 1, 2, 4, and 8 if I go in order. Is this a function? Well, no, folks, I got a cheater here. Negative 3 is a cheater. This is not a function. Remember, we look at the x's. We look at the boys to make sure we don't have any cheaters. All right. Taking a look at this one. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0 and 1 for the x's. And that is all in order. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Uh, there you go, and 1, all right, and for the range, all the y values, we got 7, we got 2, we got negative 1, we got negative 2, ooh, we got another negative 1, all right, so negative 2, negative 1, um, I believe we have 2 and 7. Now, I don't have any duplicate x's, so this is a function, it's not 1 to 1, because we have one girl that's getting, or one y, again, we use the boy and girl analogy, it's getting paired with two x's. Um, that is a function. All right, take a look at the next one, the domain 5, 6, 2, and negative 5. I'm going to put those in order. I see no duplicate x's, so that should tell you something about it. I see a bunch of 8's, but remember, so this is not 1 to 1, but it is a function because every x is only paired with one unique y. So this is yes. For a function, it is not 1 to 1, but it is a function. All right, on the next one, folks, I got 0 for the x, 6, negative 6, and another 0. So my domain, negative 6, 0, 6. My range, 6, 0, 0, negative 6. This is a circle with a radius of 6 centered at the origin. It is not a function. I see duplicate x's. I see 0 twice. All right, 5 through 10 here. Oh, I forgot to change that through five for, uh, to 5 through 8. Find each value if uh, f of x is negative 3 fifths x minus 4, and g of x is 4x squared minus 9x minus 5. All right, it's all about plugging and plugging in. Brought to you by Glade Plugins. Negative 3 fifths times negative 15 minus 4. I'm plugging in negative 15 in for x right there. Negative times negative is positive. 3 fifths of 12 brought to you by TI84. Silver edition is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. All right, f of 30. We're going to plug 30 in for x in the equation that says f of x. Negative 3 fifths times 30 is a negative 18. Subtract 4 and I get a negative 22. Negative 22. All right, g of negative 2. So I'm going to do 4 times negative 2 squared minus 9 times negative 2 minus 5. Guys, negative 2 squared. i got to do that first. That's 4. 4 times 4 will come later. A negative times a negative right here. Positive 18 minus 5. It's going to give me 16 plus. This is 13. 29 is my answer. G of 3 says 4 times 3 squared minus 9 times 3 minus 5. Uh, this is going to be 4 times 9 minus 27 minus 5. 4 times 9 is 36. If I'm debt 27 and lose 5 more, I'm in debt 32. 36 minus 32 is 4. All right, second page. Brought to you by Coffee Espresso. Coffee Espresso, a lovely small town coffee shop. Write each equation in standard form. Folks, you got to remember that standard form is ax plus by equals c. 
where a and b are not fractions, and a's got to be positive. So what I want to do here is I want to move the x over. I got negative 5x, that's a positive y equals negative 3. No fractions on x and y, but x is negative, so you want to change the sign on everything. 5x minus y equals 3. All right, what I'm going to do first here on... 9 or on 10 is to move this over. 7 fourths x plus y is equal to 2. Um, both positive, that's good, but that is a fraction. So the way to get rid of 7 fourths is to multiply everything by 4, the denominator there. Um, that's going to cancel out. 4 times 7 fourths is just going to be 7x plus 4y equals 8. And I'm in standard form. All right, and this next one, folks, while we move the 2 over, I got, uh, now x wants to go first. It's a gentleman. Uh, negative 6x plus 7y equals 5. Uh, no fractions here, but x has got to be positive. 7x, or 6x minus 7y is a negative 5. Puts us in proper standard form. Move this 4 over. I want to put the x first. Negative 2 thirds x plus 2 fifths y is equal is equal to negative 4. First off, I don't want that to be negative, so I'm going to just change the sign on everything. 2 thirds x minus 2 fifths y is equal to 4. Now, I don't want fractions on any of these, so the lowest common denominator is simply 3 times 5, 15 here. So 15 times 2 thirds, that's 10. 15 times 2 fifths, don't forget about the minus, is 6. 15 times 4, 60, and I'm in proper standard form, all right? So definitely take your time practicing that one. Uh, find the y -intercept, x intercept and y intercept of each equation. All right, guys, the y intercept, this is y equals mx plus b, slope intercept form. The y intercept is when x is 0, so it's simply y is 22. Now, the x intercept is when y equals 0. So instead of saying y equals negative 5x plus 22, I'm going to say 0 equals negative 5x plus 22. Subtract 22 from both sides and divide by 5. All right, we've got standard form here, so uh, move that 18 over. Now the x-intercept is when y equals 0, so cover that y up just like this. You have 6x equals negative 18. 6x equals negative 18, x is a negative 3. All right, um, x-intercept, or y-intercept is when x equals 0, so you have negative 5 equals, again, you don't have to write this, but this is what we're doing, negative 5 is equal to negative 18, and negative divided by a negative is a positive, you get 3.6, 3.6. All right, next one here, what, uh, what do we got? Well, I could could move this over, then I have 15 is equal to 3x um, plus 5y. Now I have it in standard form. Um, so cover up the x. 5y is equal to 15. You got a y-intercept of 3. Cover up the y. You got 3x is equal to 15. x is 5 for the x-intercepts. All right, last one here, folks. Um, we're going to do the same thing, cover up method. Cover up the y. You got a fourth x equals 5. One fourth x equals 5. And I'm going to call that 5, 5 over 1. Now I can cross multiply. I got 1x times 1 is equal to 4 times 5. Look at that. x is 20. Piece of gluten free cake. All right, let's cover up the uh, 1 fourth x there. You got negative 2 thirds. Now I'm going to put the negative in the numerator with the y is equal to 5. You're going to cross multiply. You're going to get negative 2y times 1. Negative 2y is equal to 3 times 5. 15. y is a negative 7.5. y is a negative 7.5. All right, moving on to the next page. Looking for a title sponsor on the last page here. So, uh, you know, send in your request to Yak Math Videos. Find the slope of the line that passes through the, the points. Guys, slope formula, you can either use y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 or 
y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's just the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. I'm always going to try and make the numerator positive, so I'm going to do 3 minus a negative 7. I don't know how I started with that second ordered pair. I got to start with uh, that second order for the y's. I have to start with it for the x's. So I got to do negative 3 minus 1. So we're going to get 10 over negative 4. Simplify that. Negative 2 fifths. Or 5. Sorry, negative 5 over 2. All right. It doesn't matter which one I do here because my slope's going to be 5 minus 5 over. I do, I'll just say here, negative 1 minus a negative 3. You get one of your special answers. You get 0 over 2, which is just 0. I like those type of slopes, or a negative 1. All right, next one here, I'm going to do five mi or 8 minus a negative 5, 8 minus a negative 5, all over a negative 6 minus a negative 3. That's going to give me 13 over negative 3, which I should really put that negative on the outside, negative 13 thirds. And lastly here, folks, I'm going to do 9 minus 0. All over 2 minus 2. Uh-oh, this presents a problem. 9 divided by 0 is a math sin. Don't do it, guys. That is undefined. Undefined, U-N-D. All right, determine the slope for each, for each equation. Well, the first thing I can do, I can get it. Y equals mx plus b4. Remember, this is the slope. So that's probably my best course of action. So I'm going to move that over. I have negative 6y is equal to negative 7x plus 13. I am going to divide by what's attached to x. I really only care about this number. I don't care about the, the y-intercept at all. I care about that ratio, negative 7 over negative 6. Negative 7 over negative 6 is a positive 7 over a positive 6. That is my slope. All right. This one, I'll do the same thing. I'll just subtract that. Uh, 11x minus 4y is a negative 10. Going to move the 11x over. Negative 4y is equal to a negative 11x minus 10. Divide by what's attached to y always. Again, I care about this ratio. Negative 11 over negative 4. Negative 11 over negative 4 is a positive 11 over positive 4, which is my slope. All right, folks, the last few are writing equations in slope-intercept form. Again, you guys need to know that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Guys, I gave you the slope here, so y equals 2x plus b. If you have an x and a y that you're going to plug it in, plug it in. So 8, so it's the y, is equal to 2 times x plus b. 8 is equal to negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides, 14 is b. Put it together as an equation, y is 2x plus, sorry, paper's moving here, 2x plus 14, plus 14. All right, the next one, I got to find the slope. So I'm going to do 5 minus a negative 10. 5 minus a negative 10 all over. I start with this sort of pair, so I must again, negative 1 minus 4, negative 1 minus 4. I'm going to get 15 over negative 5, which is negative 3. So y equals negative 3x plus b. Pick an ordered pair to use. I might use that one. y is 5. y is 5. And that's equal to negative 3 times negative 1 plus b. Uh, 5 is equal to 3 plus b. Again, I go about solving for my y-intercept. I get 2 for my y-intercept. So y equals negative 3x plus 2 is my equation. All right, if it's parallel to this, remember parallel lines have the same slope, so y equals 2x plus b, and I go through negative 3, 4. Well, 4 is my y value. Uh, negative 3 is my x value. So 4 is equal to negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides, b is 10. So y equals 2x plus 10 is my equation. And lastly, guys, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So if I start with a slope of negative 3, the opposite of that is a positive 3, and the reciprocal of that is a 1 -third. So I have y equals 1 -third x plus b. I have an x and a y that it goes through. Negative 1 is equal to 1 -third of 6. Hopefully we all know that that is 2 plus b. Um, so running out of real estate here. Uh, brought to you by Zillow.com. <laughs> All right, subtract uh, subtract two from both sides. Negative three is equal to b. 
uh, y is equal to 1 third x minus 3. All right, folks, this is your quiz review video, and this is 90.90 .90 quadratic. Signing out.